In Forest Pack 6, we added green wall presets to the free built-in library. In this short tutorial, we'll demonstrate how they're used. There are two approaches to creating vertical scatters. First of all, for simple planar or mostly planar areas, you can simply rotate the forest object to align with the wall. Alternatively, for more complex surfaces, you can use UV mode to scatter on any arbitrary shape. The built-in library includes both types, and these are identified using either an XY or a UV label in the preset's name. Let's start by taking a look at how to scatter on vertical planar surfaces, which has the advantage of retaining all of forest features, including edge mode, spline painting, and more. The easiest way to do this is with a spline. When using a spline, you only need to worry about the orientation of the forest object itself. The spline's axis is not at all relevant. Forest Pack projects trees along its local Z axis to fill the spline area. This means all you need to do is to create a new forest object in the viewport and orientate it so that its Z axis is perpendicular to the spline. Then just go into the areas rollout and add the spline to the areas list. Finally, you can then pick any XY preset from the built-in library and you're good to go. When using surfaces, there's an added consideration. Forest Pack expects the local Z-axis of both the surface and Forest Pack Z-axis to be aligned. Any deviation from this and you'll start to encounter some issues. So this means that the Z-axis will need to be perpendicular to the surface on which you want the green wall. And the easiest way to achieve this is to rotate the wall so that it lays flat on the world's XY axis. And then reset the X form. You can then simply rotate the wall back into the correct position. To align the forest pack object correctly to this wall, you can now either select the surface during creation, in which case forest pack inherits the rotation matrix of the surface object. Alternatively, just create the forest object in icon mode and rotate it so that it's aligned correctly. Once this is done, you can load any XY preset from the built-in library and add the wall to the surface list as normal. Just because the axis must be aligned doesn't mean that the geometry itself must be perfectly flat. It can, of course, bend and undulate. So if a wall is substantially deformed or faces in multiple directions, you may need to use a different approach that scatters objects using the surface's UV channels. In this technique, the axis alignment of the forest object and the surfaces actually aren't at all important. You'll need to ensure, however, that the surface is correctly UVW mapped in order to use these types of presets. So just create a forest pack object, again, orientation is not important. Load any UV preset from the built-in library. Add the wall to the surfaces list. And then if necessary, adjust the surfaces UVWs to control the density. Alternatively, you can adjust the density of the scatter by editing the distribution maps density X and Y settings. To adjust each axis separately, you can just uncheck lock aspect ratio. For some of the presets, you'll also notice there are other types listed in addition to the X, Y and UV types called clusters and diversity map. These labels tell you the way the planting patterns have been created. In the clusters presets, the plants are grouped together using Forest Pack's automatic clustering feature. And if you want to adjust this type of preset, you'd go to the distribution rollout. Then you can use the size parameter to adjust the size of the clusters. Use roughness to affect the shape. Use blurry edge to have the clusters bleed into one another. And finally, you can use noise to add random plants to clusters. Oh, and you can also control the proportions of the clusters using the probability settings found in the geometry list. For a more manual approach, diversity map presets use a colored bitmap to create planting patterns. These maps use the colors shown in the geometry rollout and they can be easily swapped to create your own patterns. Of course, this isn't only true of our built-in presets, these guidelines are helpful whenever you need to create a scatter at an unusual angle. For a more in-depth tutorial on creating your own vertical styles, please check out the Green Walls tutorial. <laughs>